Ma'am, can I take your order? Oh!
Michelle, go. Really can't. Go, Michelle, can go. Go. <laughs> go. Was that a good birthday present, Tay? Yes. Your wish came true. Mommy, I wish came true. It's snowing. Uh, we're going to turn now to the story that has really made our day, day frankly, our week. A nine-year-old Florida girl got the surprise of her life last week. She was doing a spelling bee at school, and Skylar Johnson was given the word sergeant. Well, she got it right, and then her teacher asked, do you know any sergeants? That's where her dad comes in. My dad? Your dad? Today, boys and girls, we have a very special sergeant here for Skylar. Staff Sergeant Theron Johnson has been on duty in southern Iraq. He hadn't seen his daughter since Christmas, and she was not expecting him. And as you can tell, joining us now, Sergeant Johnson, Skyler, and also Skyler's brother, Christian. It's great to have all of you with us this morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Uh, Sergeant, I, I want to start with you. You really did some advanced planning on this one, going so far as to change the date that you told your kids that you would be home, correct? Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of messed up and told him I was going to be home at the end of September, which is which was correct, but because of the the spelling bee thing that we created, I had to change it and tell him, you know, something different. So, so it, it worked out. So Skyler, <laughs> when you initially heard from your dad that he wasn't going to be home as early as you thought, that must have been pretty tough news to get. Yeah, I kind of cried after that after I got off the phone. Do you think it was worth did. it now? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So take us back. You spelled the word sergeant perfectly, Skylar. No big surprise there probably to your dad or even to your teacher. But when you realized that it was your dad there on the stage, um, if you can, tell us what that was like for you. What was it like to have your dad hug you? Well, it was amazing. Like, you can't even describe it. Did it feel real? <laughs> yes, very real. What about you, Sergeant? Did it feel real to you? Oh, yeah. I couldn't wait. I was behind the curtain, and uh, I kept feeling my cue, and I was telling the lady that was operating the curtain, one of their assistants there, a con, I was like, open the curtain, open the curtain. I'm ready. <laughs> you know, I, She was only like three feet in front of me. And, you know, We were that close, but the curtain separated us, and she didn't even know. What a fantastic <laughs> surprise. Now, Christian, you're, if I'm correct, you're at a different school, but you got a little surprise of your own, right? Uh, yes. Um, they told me I was going to early dismissal. And I didn't know what I was going to do, so I walked up to the stage, and I saw my dad in his uniform with my sister. So what was that like for you when you realized Dad was home early and he came to surprise you? I felt like it was a dream that came to real life. <laughs> so you guys have had, uh, you've had some nice time together, and I know you have a few more days, sir, before you, uh, you have to go back. What have you been up to? Oh, uh, we're at Disney. Disney World. Not so bad to come home and take them to Disney. <laughs> it's been a really fun time. This may be a tough one, tough one for you to, to top, Sergeant Johnson. You going to continue the surprises you think next time you come home? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I guess they'll expect it next time because they, you know, uh, I, I doubt I could top this. It's, it's really come kind of unexpected form, and the way I, <clears throat> the way they, uh, Mr. Roberts and Mr. Ryapel changed everything there at Boca Raton Elementary. They made it a really special moment. Well, they really, they, so they actually helped you put this moment together. In fact, it, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but they actually staged the spelling bee in many ways so that you could do this with Skylar. Yes, it, it, was, it was exactly what was staged. I, I contacted them a month before I came back to let them know, and then we worked it all. We had a month to do it, so it was plenty of time to plan, and, and it worked out. It was very special. I mean, it, I, Little dot allows it was going to be the feel-good story of the week, I guess is what people are calling it. <laughs> well, I mean, it really is. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's always, always does someone's heart good to see a reunion of one of our, <laughs> one of our members in the military with their kids. But, boy, you really, uh, you really talked a lot of them. Sergeant, thank you very much for being with us, and thank you for your service, sir. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. All right, you guys, enjoy your few days with your dad, and uh, give him lots of hugs to take back with him. We know you'll have more when he gets home next time. Thanks again. Thank okay, you very thank much. You. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>
I uh, just wanted to let her know how much we love her with our family. She's been nothing short of a blessing and a gift to our entire family. Uh, she's a little embarrassed right now, and that's okay. Um, so with saying that, sorry to interrupt your dinner, but I uh, wanted to give back to her a gift and uh, give her a gift of uh, her soldier, her son, uh, home from Afghanistan. Uh, and uh, so welcome home your son, uh, Staff Sergeant David Brady. <laughs> Gentlemen, boys and girls, direct your attention to the area in front of the Tin Caps dugout for a special presentation. Thank you, Jared. All right, we have some special guests here. I am here with the Conrad family. Now, back July 14th, uh, each game we post some of our Facebook and Twitter posts up on up onto the video board. And one of those posts on July 14th was from overseas, a very long way away. We had Sergeant Nick Conrad. He sent us a post all the way over from the Middle East saying that he was still a Tin Caps fan over there. So who we've got here, we've got Nick's family here, okay? We wanted to bring them out. We heard that they were here around town. So I want to introduce you to them real quick. First up, we've got his mom, Kelly, his dad, Steve, his brother, Chris, along with his niece, Addison, down there, and then his sister, Sarah, on the end here. Now, he's been deployed for almost a year, his second tour of duty with the U.S. Army. And now, Mom, when do you guys expect him back home? Hopefully for his birthday next month. This, on the 19th. On the 19th of, of September. Okay. So you're expecting him home very soon here. Are you guys excited to see him? So very excited. All right. Well, I think, uh, I think there's somebody here to see you right now. That doesn't give you goosebumps, not sure if you're alive. Sergeant Nick Conrad from the F Company 3, 238th Aviation out of Franklin, Indiana. Hasn't been back stateside in more than a year. Returning from Kuwait, he's also served in Iraq. A graduate of Leo High School. For the homecoming here at Parkview Field. It's because men like that that we're able to have this in front of us tonight. God bless them and God bless the United States of America and the armed forces, the men and women that are keeping us safe every single day, every single moment of our of the year. And that's I mean, and what people at home didn't see the whole entire stadium was actually on their feet clapping both dugouts were on their on their feet clapping the players on the field were on the field clapping for that young man and that's um that's saying so much of what what our men and women taking up arms to defend our country and keep us safe and keep our freedom alive that's what it's all about Lucky here at Parkview Field to get to witness a lot of incredible things. Many of them fantastic athletic accomplishments on the field, but nothing comes even close to comparing 
to what we just saw right there. This has been a Tin Caps production. school honored our nation's heroes during a special assembly on Tuesday, but there was an extra special surprise in store for 11 year old Maddie Gamel. Maddie didn't know she would get to see her dad. She hasn't seen him since he left for Korea seven months ago to serve in the Air Force, but he came back Monday. And my father-in-law picked me up at the airport and I stayed the night at their house last night keeping the secret. Maddie was one of four students who won an essay contest about who their hero is and why. My hero is super important to me for a good reason. He's my dad. After Maddie read her essay, her hero walked in. And her jumping off the stage was running to my arms. The look on her face was just was amazing. I thought this was like a dream and it was not reality at all. A special moment between father and daughter that was made even better through Maddie's words from the heart. I know she loves me, but hearing that coming from in writing, how she actually feels about me, you know, as, as a parent, you don't, you don't hear those things every day. He's just a wonderful person. It couldn't, it couldn't get any better. Master Sergeant Gamble will be home for the next three weeks where he will get to spend time with his family. He will then go back overseas to complete his tour. Reporting in Conway, April Baker, WPDE News Channel 15.